The M2 Mac Mini just dropped on the market with a surprisingly great deal, which we rarely see from Apple products. Could it be another great Mac Mini, just like its previous generation? And should you upgrade from the M1 Mac Mini? Let's find out more in today's comparison video. Looking for an animation studio that can turn your story or idea into animated visuals? Look no further than 10 Studio. Our team of experts creates animated explainer videos that simplify complex ideas and bring your message to life. Our experience can help you tell your story in a way that engages your target audience and makes them remember it. Don't miss out on this opportunity to stand out from your competition. Visit our website to know more at www.10.studio. Just by looking at a design, you can easily tell Apple barely touched anything when it comes to exterior changes for their new M2 Mac Mini. From top to bottom, exactly the same slim outline just like the M1 Mac Mini including the connectivity options. Both M1 and M2 versions are equipped with two Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI and two USB-A ports along with one headphone jack. Unless you go for the M2 Pro version which includes up to four Thunderbolt 4 ports. So aesthetically, there isn't really anything to talk about, because whatever changes they have brought to this new Mac Mini are completely internal. That being said, let's take a look at the internal specifications of both of these devices. As we can clearly see, putting in the new M2 chip was the biggest change they have brought to their new Mac Mini lineup. Although the 8-core CPU remains the same, but the higher 10-core GPU does an amazing job by delivering overall faster performance. Apple claims while working on highly demanding apps such as using Photoshop, it is at least 3.5 times faster and for video editing, it can function up to 9.8 times compared to the M1 version, which seems pretty impressive. Other than that, everything else comes with similar specs as it is on the base M1 Mac Mini, 8GB of RAM and 256GB SSD storage. But you can customize the M2 version with up to 24GB RAM and 2TB of SSD storage. And this would be the primary difference between the M2 and M1 versions in terms of memory, as the M2 allows for up to 24GB of RAM customization, whereas M1 only permits up to 16. But there is another major difference that fans are not really happy about. The entry-level M2 Mac Mini with 256GB SSD has a slower SSD speed compared to its previous M1 model. The YouTuber Brandon Geekbit recently revealed this information in his latest teardown video of the M2 Mac Mini by confirming that Apple used only one single NAND chip for storage, whereas the M1 model with the same storage includes two NAND chips. This explains its poor read and write speed benchmark test performed by Mac Rumors. On the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test benchmarking app, they found the M2 model with 256GB storage got 30-50% to slower read and write speed compared to the previous generation M1 base model. So the M2 chip is amazing as it shows much better GPU core potential, but the slower SSD speed on the base M2 Mac Mini may impact the performance while working on highly demanding projects such as Photoshop, Illustration and video editing. In the end, Apple managed to keep the price lower compared to the previous generation, which nobody was expecting. The M2 Mac Mini starts at $599, while the base model of the M1 Mac Mini costs $699. In short, with $100 less, you are getting the latest Mac Mini with an M2 chip with a comparatively slower SSD speed than the M1 version if you go for the base model. On the other hand, with $100 more, you will be getting M1 Mac Mini but with better read and write speed for storage. In this case, if you already own the M1 Mac Mini, then there is no point in upgrading to the base model of the M2 version unless you go for higher memory and specs. And if you don't have the previous Mac Mini or simply want to try out the Mac devices, then the new M2 Mac Mini is certainly a good purchase for you. So that brings us to the end of today's comparison video on M2 Mac Mini versus M1 Mac Mini. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment down below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.